The State Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation has a new name and a new vision. Annalisa Burgo sat down with the agency's director about priorities and challenges. That's right, the state's jails have long been plagued by overcrowding and understaffing. Now that the DCR is free from the law enforcement functions of the old Department of Public Safety, its director is softening his hardline approach by promoting rehab and re-entry. DCR oversees some 3,700 inmates in the state's prisons and jails. A third are low-risk offenders who can't afford bail and need mental health and drug treatment programs rather than jail. Director Tommy Johnson says classifying inmates correctly is a priority. We have a duty to provide a, an accurate assessment instrument so we can determine a person's risk and needs and provide the appropriate level of custody for them to keep them safe and people around them, but also provide the appropriate level of services they need. But that takes time and money. You put into the criminal justice system, you know, what you get out. And so if we can have modern, efficient facilities that provide, that have space and provide evidence-based programming and reentry services will have better outcomes. Which is why Johnson is asking lawmakers for $45 million to build a consolidated health care unit at Halava with support for inmates before they're released. He says that'll deter repeat offenders, reduce the state's recidivism rate, and alleviate overcrowding in the long term. Currently, almost 58% of the state's former prisoners are re-arrested. If they're no longer under the jurisdiction of any agency, then we can't legally provide services to them or counseling or redirection. So really, it's up to them to, you know, correct their own behavior. DCR wants to change behavior while offenders are in custody, but they need more staff to do that. Right now, 30% of DCR's positions are vacant. It hurts morale it, it, if you don't have enough people working, right? You have to be forced to do more overtime. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I think there's there's a lot more we got we got to approach this a little bit more aggressively. Now DCR is recruiting with radio ads, job fairs, and military centers, and looking at shortening academy time and bringing training to neighbor islands. A commission under the attorney general's office that oversees DCR is pushing the agency to fix the jail system. Look at the pretrial population and how can we reduce incarceration and increase the diversion uh, efforts. We don't have the mental health alternatives to jail. So you're picking up a lot of mental health, you're picking up a lot of homeless, you have a lot of low-level crimes. How can we manage our, our front end better so that we don't have overcrowding in our jails? And DCR is still planning a new jail to replace OCCC, though no firm timeline has been set. It's also asking for $3 million to build a new jail in Kona. Critics would rather see money spent on bail reform. DCR says new facilities can house more support services. Annalisa Burgos, Hawaii News Now.